Hi everyone and welcome back in this second video tutorial. Uh, in this video we're going to show you how you can use the grasshopper and speckle to create a speckle object, extend the speckle object with custom properties, but also how you can organize a bit more efficiently these properties inside the speckle object. So let's get started. Um, I think before we do anything let's make sure that we have installed correctly the um, connectors for Grasshopper and Rhino. So in Rhino, you will see these three icons here. Uh, we're not gonna touch anything uh, from Rhino right now, but in Grasshopper, if you have installed correctly um, the connector, you will see this Speckle 2 tab. So click this tab and you will find these components. Uh, our main focus for this video is on the object management components. So we're gonna see how you know you can create a speckle object, how you can extend the object. Uh, I'm gonna show you also how you deconstruct a speckle object. And also we're gonna see the send and receive uh, node. For now, let's go and start creating some geometry. So the geometry that I'm gonna create is a very simple object. It's gonna be just a box. That's going to be uh, 10 meters by 10 and 3 meters height. So usually when we do massing studies, we tend to, you know, represent all these requirements into um, boxes and then we try to fit all these inside the building. So let's think about that this box is exactly that, is one of the um, uh, program requirements. Um, and then we're gonna go and attach uh, a bunch of properties related to the program on that um, on that box, and we're gonna send that to uh, to Speckle. Okay. So first thing is to actually import this here. Then the first thing I'm going to do to make sure that everything works properly, I'm going to just send this simple geometry to Speckle. So here, uh, the first requirement is um, a stream URL. So we need to have the stream URL uh, that we uh, created before from the model. So here, I'm going to send it here in the Grasshopper test model. I'm going to click the three dots and copy the link. The second is not a hard requirement, so we don't, we're not going to send any message with our send operation. But the third input is the data that we want to send. So the, the objects or the geometry that we want to send and we're going to click send. So um, what just happened here? Uh, the operation uh, is successful. We have no errors and it's ready. So what I want to explain to you is that every time we send uh, an object or a geometry um, data, whatever you send through the connectors uh, in Speckle um, and goes to the Speckle server, everything is being converted to a speckle object, okay? So by clicking send, you have not just sent the data, but you have already created your first uh, speckle object. So let's go back to the web viewer. And here we're gonna see that we have a geometry inside our uh, model. And if we select this model, we'll see that we, you know, this tab is gonna pop up, this window on the side, and we'll see all these information. When we send from Grasshopper or Rhino, the main information that we get out of this um, object is geometrical information. We can see that in more detail if we go under the Scene Explorer and we click the Dev Mode. Here we can explore all the data tree uh, in more detail if we want. Um, it's not part of this of the scope of this um, of this video to you know explain you a bit uh, the data tree. But here, if you are uh, if you want to explore yourself, you go on and and start like you know 
opening these uh, tabs and, and see like what kind of data um, you find uh, inside your project. So now that we have uh, created our first um, speckle object and we send it here, uh, the second step is actually to see how we can extend this object and we attach our custom properties here, okay? So let's go back to Grasshopper. I'm gonna copy paste this and hide. So to extend the speckle object, we're gonna use the extend speckle object component, of course. Um, if we come here, we'll see that the input uh, is a speckle object, but this component checks if the input actually is a spec already a speckle object. If it's not, it's gonna convert um, any geometry or object into speckle object. So uh, let's go and input this here. Let's insert some custom parameters uh, in, the, um, in this component. So every parameter that we name here, let's say I'm gonna name it use maybe or yeah, program uh, use. I'm gonna name this no height. I'm gonna name this um, floor area. So these parameters here now they're gonna be reflected here on this side. Um, so let's go back and add. The, the values. So this box is gonna be an office. The height is three meters. The floor area goes 10 by 10, it's 100 meters, square meters. Perfect. Now I have just extended my speckle object. I'm just gonna input this here and click send. Done, I'm going back here. I have a new version, you can already see that. So if I click Again, uh, the version is getting automatically updated, so uh, you don't have to refresh or do anything. Uh, in case you know you don't see anything, yeah, it's good to refresh. But in my case here, I can see that now I have height here, that's three meters. I have a floor area that's 100 square meters. And I also have uh, the program use, it's an office. Excellent, so now I have these parameters, I just extended, but what if I have a lot of data that I need to manage properly, uh, usually are coming from different sources. Let's say I have done environmental analysis, so I have um, uh, environmental analysis data for this object, uh, I have structural data for this project, I have my project management data, and I really wanna structure it more efficiently. So the next step will be actually to show you how you can actually nest this uh, data inside um, a speckle, uh, speckle object. So let's go here. Uh, what I'm going to do now is actually create, use this create speckle object. I'm going to zoom in here. I can create a speckle object usually uh, from anything, from a string or um, just a number. So if I use here, I can So now I created um, a speckle object that has a property 
call name. Um, and the name of the property uh, is uh, the name of the object is speckle project, of course. And it has this uh, property name that holds uh, the information. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to extend this speckle object again. So now I have my project information here. I'm going to extend it with, um, let's add start date and date and status. Perfect. Now I've created this um, this object here. I can actually use the deconstruct speckle object. We will have a look uh, if it's everything works fine. So yes, I have a speckle object that has an end date, name, start date, and status. Perfect. And what I'm going to do now in order to insert this information into uh, my main speckle object. I'm going to come here and simply create another uh, parameter. I'm going to call it project information. Perfect. So now I have again one speckle object, uh, speckle brep uh, to be uh, more precise. And this speckle brep, if I deconstruct this, I can see now what uh, holds inside um, into the um, into this uh, object. So the data that are I can extract is the area, bounding box, and a bunch of other uh, parameters here. And we also have like the um, the custom parameters that we added. So the the floor area, the the height project information we just added and you know uh, all the rest but what I can do now uh, because here in the project information I can see that this is a speckle object I can use again the deconstruct uh, component and uh, see now that I have also the other data that I just uh, inserted here so this is like a very easy and smart way to uh, nest data inside uh, another uh, speckle object. So depend really depends on your use case. So um, you can organize it uh, in the different ways. You can nest, I think, as many times as you want. Uh, so feel free and try that. Um, so now I will just go again and send this. So. The operation is done. Um, if I go back here, I'll click select this now. I can see now I have my project information here. Perfect. These data are exactly uh, the data that I just inserted. Oops, I just uh, delete that, but I can click here and go back. Perfect. Um, so now I can see, you know, this information here is exactly what I uh, what I inserted here. Perfect. So um, this is it for this um, video. I uh, hope you learned something. Um, again, it's really based on your use case. You can structure the data differently. Feel free to experiment uh, with the speckle object to create. Uh, deconstruct, try to find um, your best uh, solution for your um, for your project. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video.
Um, I hope you enjoy this one and um, see you soon.